Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Marilyn at Marilyn's Divine. Today I wanted to bring you guys a quick little message to see what your spirit guides, ancestors, starseed family, any guidance the universe would like to send you at this time. This is a timeless message, so whenever you come across it, that's fine. It will still apply to you if you if you let it apply to you, basically. Um, if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. If it's not, that's fine. Okay, let's start with the tarot first. Okay, we have the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Three of Swords. Okay, at the top of the deck, we have Justice in Reverse. So, I feel like for some of you, there's been this kind of never-ending kind of like... Like, there's been the situation where you've been kind of just going back in circles and circles, not really being able to see the end of it or seeing things through. And it's because of this lack, whether it be actual financial problems or just this lag-minded energy that has encompassed you for quite a while. I feel like this energy that, um, I feel like this energy of lack has been following you since, I feel like, since 20... 21 yeah a couple months ago it's, it's been it's been happening like it's it's been continuous is what i'm basically seeing um i feel like you were forced i feel like the universe forced you into this shadow aspect of yourself and it's just so frustrating for you because I feel like things may have been going very good for you at the start. Possibly like something that you were planning on doing. A business, school, however it applies to you. I feel like that certain thing that you were doing was going very good for you. It was actually very fruitful, very abundant. But somehow, spirit, whether it be certain circumstances, just kind of called you back in, into this hermit mode. And it was a forced hermit mode. It wasn't like, a, like a, okay, no, I, I need to step away. No, it was, it was a forced hermit mode situation. And this is where this downfall occurred. And the cards may seem very ugly and very bad. Like, oh no. No, I, I feel like this is just the retelling of what has happened. Because I feel like things are now improving or are, are about to improve for you. Like this message of like, the comeback is always greater than the downfall. Like, I really feel like you're about to be stepping into this better version of yourself or the true version of yourself. <clears throat> These fallbacks, setbacks, this heartbreak, betrayal... All of these bad things that occurred for you weren't done to you to, you know, they weren't done to you on purpose, okay? They were more so just stepping stones for you to learn your lessons and grow. And I know that sucks. <laughs> I know that sucks, but it's true. And you have grown. 
you've grown a lot. You've gained so much more wisdom. I feel like you're being asked to give it a go again in a certain situation, but with new eyes, with new ideas. You know, maybe something that you did wasn't working, but if you do something else, it will work. And what you were working on will see the light of day. And like you will see it through, is basically what they're saying. With the justice card in reverse, it's like you had some emotional karma or karmic cycles that you had to balance out first in order to get to where you are now. There's this big rebirth waiting for you. And I know that, and I feel like you know that. It's just more so now you allowing yourself to trust yourself and the energy and moving forward and doing it, you know? Because I feel like as much as you've grown, as much as you've experienced and lost, you've also kind of, I guess, I don't know, like not been afraid or like, you're just like, I don't know, well, if I do it again, and I know I want to do it again, I don't know if it's going to work again, you know? But Spirit's saying that, yes, it's going, it's going to work, and it's going to work better than you thought it was. You just had to go through that little detour to get to the other side. <laughs> I know, it's so funny. Um, haha, being in misery. Um, but if you go and do it, it's going to work for you, finally. Okay, let's see what other messages are coming through. Okay, we have the world, we have the nine of swords, and, no, sorry, we have the eight of swords, and the three of cups, okay, yeah, that cycle, you already you already ended it with the world card that karmic cycle emotional trauma that generational curse whatever it was you've already learned it you've already done it you've already passed the test okay that is closed out now it's up to you to get yourself out of this illusion of where oh no i'm not good enough i'm not going to succeed because you are it's just a mental thing. This mental blockage is what's keeping you from your true potential. Because look, we have the Three of Cups. We have Celebration. We have the green light, okay? You are going to succeed. It's just more so now using your mental strength to overcome that. And say, you know what? I have all the confidence in the world I will succeed and I will do this. <clears throat> okay, the time has made me wiser, not weaker. Spirit's literally saying, don't block your own blessings with this mental lack or this... I feel like you've gotten so used to this lack, the scarcity energy that it's kind of... You've kind of imprinted on it. I don't know if that's, that makes sense, but because of what you went through, you just expect things to always go wrong, or you've, you've kind of, you're kind of like, oh no, like as an example, like you've manifested for something, but it never came, or you manifested it for it, and it came, but something happened to your blessing, and spirit's not spirit doesn't want you to be scared okay spirit wants you to manifest spirit wants you to pray to always ask for what you want you know and i feel like you've stopped doing that with this mental illusion of oh well if i get this and i do get it something's gonna go wrong you know and no that that's not what spirit wants from you at all they want you to believe have more faith more trust now more than ever. Let's see what animal spirit is saying. We 
you have enlightenment faith what did i just say you're being asked to have more faith to put faith in yourself we have peace and tranquility yes peace know that this this negativity this karmic cycle whatever it was that you went through situation you've already passed it you you're already done with it you're being asked to have faith but put faith in yourself more than anything else okay put faith in yourself We have clairvoyance and understanding. Yep. You're, um, you're a very, um, you're an idealist, okay? And I feel like you think about things a lot and you may day daydream a lot. And I feel like you can visually see your manifestations and what it is that you want to attain and reach your goals and your dreams, okay? Um, please, um, Spirit is saying that you have to keep in mind to only think about the things that you want and not the things that you fear. Because right now is a very, um, it's a very powerful moment right now. It's a, like the energy right now around you is very powerful. So a lot of things can manifest for you and you have to be careful with that. So only think about the things that you want and not the things that you fear, okay? Let's see what else. We have love, dragonfly. Yep, spirit loves you. The universe loves you. There's so much love within you. And you're meant to allow that love to just emit from you. receive and allow yourself to walk with that energy wow it's really pretty <laughs> let's see we have cunning resourceful yes okay this this is the wisdom i was talking to you about You've gained so much more wisdom with these past experiences. So let's say you started, okay, so like for an example, let's say you started a small business, but that small business wasn't going the way you wanted it to, um, which caused you to like shut down your online business or whatever it may be. Um, I feel like with these experiences, you've learned what to do and what not to do. Because spirit um, made you take that detour to open your eyes, okay? So now you have all this wisdom, all of these resources on what you can do, on what works and what doesn't work. Okay, wow. And at the top of the deck, we have Hawk. Truth and clarity. It's just confirming the message so far. Okay, now let's go in with the Starseed deck. Let's see what other messages are coming through for you. We have lifting the veil, questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. We have surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. We have two loves. Oh, wow. We have the word joy, joy, love, love. Okay, wow. Um, and then we have the three of cups, you see, right here. Yeah, Spirit is saying now is the time for celebration. It's time for renewal. All of the things that you've gone through this period of stagnation you were in the cocoon and now you're a butterfly okay you're meant to fly is basically what spirit is saying you're meant to fly you're not alone isolation physical connection community yes <laughs> let's see what else we have weight 
It's not yet time. Things are being woven. And you've got the love. Hadarian energy, codependency, and boundaries. Yep, exactly. This was the this is the, the past tense energy that you were experiencing. You you've had to learn a lot of things in order for you to be in this energy that where you are right now, where you are able to create. And you're not creating with ego anymore. You're creating with love. Okay? I feel like um, possibly you had a lot of toxic positivity in the past. A lot of karmic cycles. I hope that makes sense. I, I, I'm probably not explaining myself right, but you've had to deal with a lot of different parts of yourself. Mm -hmm. You were in this cocoon phase, like you were forced into this cocoon phase, the, the hermit mode basically. A period of stagnation, isolation by yourself, spending a lot of time thinking about why things weren't working out, you know. You probably had to go through a lot of transformations, a lot of different versions of yourself basically. Divine, feminine, divine, masculine, you know, balance your energy out. Oh my god, yeah. You had to balance yourself out, like the justice card, here we go. Mm-hmm. You had to balance out a lot of energy in order for it to work. And now the energy is balanced and you're being asked to create. And be in community. Be with friends. Surround yourself. Show yourself to the world. Your true authentic self, basically. Don't be afraid. You're being asked to have faith. But most importantly, faith within yourself. You have a lot of faith in spirit. You never lost that connection with spirit, okay? Maybe you weren't um, connecting with spirit as much when you were in these moments, but I feel like some of you were like, oh, spirit, send me a sign. Am I on the right track? What does this mean? You know, and spirit sees that. Spirit sees you, okay? You're not alone in this. Wow, that's lovely. That's powerful, guys. Wow, you guys... Oh, wow. Wow, okay, and at the top of the deck, we have all paths lead home. Inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Exactly, you're being asked. Okay, the universe, like, the knowledge of the universe lies within you, okay? These past experiences were only meant to make you stronger, not weaker. They were meant to open your mind to different ways of thinking and different perspectives okay um these challenges and obstacles weren't meant to knock you down they were meant to strengthen your mind your soul your body okay because you're i feel like you're somebody that's here meant to teach meant to like lead people or at least show people something but you have to trust your wave okay trust the wave that you came in on okay you're not being rushed everything happens for a reason it feels like christ consciousness it feels like um this may sound funny but it feels like a jesus moment okay it feels like Hey, a lot of people probably didn't believe in you. People probably humiliated you. You know, they were harsh with you. But now you're showing up as your true self, as your true version. All sides balanced, yin and yang. Yin and yang, however you pronounce it. Um, you've confronted your shadow side. You've done the shadow work. Healing is a lifelong process, okay? But... You've accumulated so much experience and so much wisdom that spirit is now saying, now you're meant to believe in yourself and actually put all the things that you learned into use and show the world the true version of yourself, of who you are, basically. There were so many things to unpack, so many sides of you that you didn't know. And now you do know. Okay? 
Wow. Okay, let's see. Final ancestor messages with the ancestor oracle. We have connect with water. Ocean, water spirits, hydrate. Okay, wow. We have open to love, relationships, passion, and fulfillment. And we have find your voice, express yourself, open up, sing out. Family connections, respect people, and kinship. Yep. Wow. Okay, this all ties into your reading, which gives me goosebumps all the time because these are themes that we were talking about. So yes, you are being asked to show who you are to the world, whether this be through a small business, whether it be a creative way, you're an artist, a singer, however it may apply to you, okay? You're meant to find your tribe your soul tribe, okay? But for some of you, not all of you, some of you are meant to teach people. And when I mean teach people, I mean like share your experiences with others. Um, a lot of you are, are vibrating very high energetically spiritually you guys are on a double mission you guys are here um to raise the vibration basically so spirit is asking you to keep the faith okay spirit works through you so the experiences that you have gone through the cycles you've closed you're meant to share those experiences with others Okay, you heal others when you heal yourself. That's powerful. Oh, okay. Also, listen to um, Like Water by... What's his name? I don't know. I'll, I'll leave it in the link below. But that song came... Like, that song came to my head randomly while I saw this card. So maybe there's a message for you in that. But water is life, Okay hashtag land back um but yeah i hope that this message resonated for you i'm sorry i'm all over the place but i just had to get this message out and i appreciate you guys if you've gone and seen this whole video all the way through it really does make me happy i appreciate it um so let me know if this resonates for you down down in the comments downstairs <laughs> downstairs what the heck i mean down in the comments let me know if it resonates for you please give it a, th a thumbs up if it did um subscribe uh and thank you i hope that you guys are having a lovely night lovely day whenever you are seeing this thank you so much you can follow me on instagram if you'd like at marilyn's divine um and yeah thank you guys bye